What's up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 6 of Breaking Bad. So last episode wasn't actually too bad. I mean, you know, Jesse got a new place and he came up with a plan for like him and Walt to sell the shit that they're cooking. And while the plan was working out at first, something ended up happening in the end. And like one of them got their money sold or something and Jesse told Walt about it and Walt got mad. And you know, yeah, I would be mad too, but Walt has just been pissing me off lately, so it's like, it just made me even more aggravated, but didn't at the, at the end of this episode, at the end of the last episode, didn't he want Jesse to kill, like, kill the dude that lost their money? I, I think that's literally what happened. I forgot. Shit. So he wants Jesse to kill someone this episode, probably, but it's like, Will he kill someone? Or will they deviate to a new plan? I don't know. But I do really want to find out, so I guess let's get into the episode. Why the hell you gonna let that shit on your hand? I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have already stomped on that bitch. Damn, bitch. That's the... That's the dude he's supposed to kill. That's T-R-E-A-T. Hey, man. I'm slinging mad volume and fat stacking Benjis. You know what I'm saying? I can't be all about, like, spelling and shit. Hey. <laughs> I can't be all about spelling. <laughs> My God. Spooge. Not Mad Dog, not Diesel. So let me get this straight. You got jacked by a guy named Spooch. That kind of that kind of does look bad. <sighs> I don't think Jesse did drugs at all last episode. So, but now he's back at it. Unless maybe he did, and I just don't remember. And he's gonna need it, because he has to shoot someone. Oh wait, he has to shoot the people who took the money, not the dude who got jacked. I thought he was supposed to kill the guy that got jacked. Where's my money, bitch? Where's my money? Oh no. I feel bad because he's panicking, but like, maybe you should have pan you should have panicked before. Come on. I will mess you up. I don't think anyone's home. Yo, yeah, mucho loco. Do not test me. Okay, Jesse. Whatever you say. Sorry. Like it's gonna be a nice day, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. High seventies. You have a great day. Right on. You too. <laughs> Switch up like so quick. Cause I mean, how are you supposed to act in that situation? You can't really show her a gun. Cause then she's gonna be scared. Never leave the breaking into someone's house to Jesse. Yo, anybody home? I uh, don't think so. Probably, well, I was gonna say you could probably guess by them not answering the door, but then also who's gonna answer the door if you know someone's after you maybe. A little kid. Tonight, you will receive the ultimate mixture of cutlery tonight. 
he just doesn't acknowledge Jesse at all. Yours. Anybody else home? I just think that's so funny. How he's randomly just like, is anyone else here? He's just like, I'll wait for them to get back with you. I don't know, Mr. Rogers? So it's the only channel that works. So when you're, uh, when your folks coming home, your dad, Mr. Spooge, when he's he, uh, getting back. I swear, what if they don't go back? I'm hungry. If he ends up leaving that kid alone at the end of this episode, I'm gonna be mad. Because I, that's, that's sad. It's so good to hear from you. How is everybody? We're very well, thank you. Um, Walt is actually at work today. It's his first day back at work and, uh... Wait, is she gonna figure out that he has, hasn't been taking the money from them? Like, isn't that the lady who's married to the other dude that's, like, helping them? I begin to thank you and Elliot for what you've done. Um, the money for Walt's treatment, it's... She's about to find out. Oh, fuck. Unless she, like, lies for him. Finally wanted to say thank you. Anyway. So she's, like, not gonna tell her. Because she's stunned that she doesn't know, I'm guessing. Finger are both formed. From the same stuff or say the diamond and the man who invented it i just feel so bad because they seem to barely be paying attention and like caring a ten dollar u.s savings bond No one seems to, like, really care as much. Fuck. What the fuck? Don't worry about it. Hey. Let's go. I'm sorry, but it's like, who would make fun of someone for that? We're really seeing Jesse's babysitting skills right now. He fed the kids so far. What's he gonna do next? Is he that young to care for that? I don't think so. Okay then. Oh God, they're back now. Why is he taking the kid? Oh wait, yeah, he might not want him to see. What if he goes through with killing them and then he takes the kid with him? I feel you, Jesse. She's annoying. Just don't make her laugh, please. Rip them naked and bury them up to their necks in a huge mound of fire ants. 
Hmm. You with me? Scorpions? He's in it with you. And she's at the house. So this is Walter Jr. or uh, Flynn. He likes to go by Flynn these days. Mom? What? I'm just offering the choice. The Flynn name really just came out of nowhere. Like, it, we just discovered that he likes being called Flynn, like, two episodes ago, maybe. Like, Mrs. Schwartz, thank you so much for what you've done for my dad. It was a really good thing. You're very welcome. She's gonna go along with it. Bye now. Safely. Okay. You know, what am I thinking? I should walk her to her car, really. I'll be right back. I was just about to say, like, I, f I thought he was gonna walk her to her car so they could talk. We need to talk. Can you not do or say anything to anyone? Until then, please. She's mad. They don't know, and I, I kind of understand, because she had to lie to them whenever they were literally thanking her to her face. And it's like, imagine being in that situation. Oh, exploring. What's it gonna be, yo? Come on. God damn. Hopefully you just saying that though, because that would suck. All right, come on, on the table. All right, so what? You hold the crystal and she holds the H, huh? So he was right. They had that shit in there. One for each kneecap, plus an extra round for your cranial for being such a pussy. Hey. And the kid's going to come out. Is it just so happens we got your money, man, plus interest. You're damn right, plus interest. Where? Backyard. Go right hand to the man, dog. Backyard. Go check it out. Don't listen to him, Jesse. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Help me break it open. Take out the money, get paid, get high. Yo, that's my bank. So it's FIDC insured, yo. We did, we just walked in all smooth like. Nobody even noticed. Nobody noticed, for real. I'm telling you, victimless crime. He killed a whole dude. Stop calling me that! I swear. What is up with them? Where's the kid? <laughs> the kid, the little kid! What are you asking me for? The kid was just with you. He actually cares about the kid. That's not really at issue here. Well, you told me your insurance was covering it. Was that a lie? He's not- if he- if he doesn't tell Skylar, he's not gonna tell you. Paying for your treatment without our knowledge. Against our will, you involve us in your lie, and you sit here and tell me that that is none of my business. You're, you still involved them, which is why she does somewhat deserve an explanation. But it's not like she's gonna get it. You and Elliot cut me out. What? That can't be how you see it. It's my hard work, my research, and you and Elliot make millions off it. That cannot be how you see it. God damn, so this shit's coming out now. I feel so 
Sorry for you, Walt. You. His switch up, I swear. Hey. <laughs> He's got attached to him already. In front her kid. By now, huh? Ah, is that you? Is that you? You're the big man? Huh? Try and hit me now, bitch! Try and hit me now! Try and hit me now! I can't believe it switched up so quickly like that, so it's like, now they got his weapon. Kyler. <sighs> Gretchen called about an hour ago. What'd she say? Just say it. So you told her? Well, like, just that they haven't been paying for it? For Walt's treatment. I wish you the very best. And that was it. Well, messed up your friendship like that. She and I had a perfectly nice visit this afternoon, and then... You come home, and all of a sudden she's in big hurry to leave, and then the two of you are talking in the driveway. It does look suspicious. And it was that reason, though. <sighs> They're broke. You are kidding me. Huh? So he's really lying to her like that. Again. You know, she could have just told me herself. Hmm. Well, they're prideful people. You're prideful too. And yet, she still drives a Bentley. Is he gonna get caught in his lie? I mean, maybe the car's already paid off. You never know. Do right. Listen to me, stupid. I, I am in the middle of very important work. I am on the verge here. All right, so set your skank ass pie hole. I feel like she's about to get mad and move that safe and make it crush him because she's mad. I think you used the word skank enough. No, 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 don't, don't, no. What did I say? What did I say? I'm smart. But then it, it might have been kind of obvious. Now it opens. Take it and leave. And maybe take the kid with you. 911. Going back for the kid? Uh, I figured he would take the kid with him. Or maybe he's just gonna leave him outside. You have a good rest of your life, kid. Uh, he's trying to spare the child.
My god. I swear, that episode kind of reminded me of, like, Walt in, like, season one, whenever he had to kill that dude, but he didn't want to, and he was just, like, he held him captive, but was also being nice to him. And, like, yeah, Jesse wasn't, like, being nice to, what's it called, the other two people, but he was being nice to the kid. Like, I don't know, it just made me think of that whole episode, because it's, like, Jesse had to be so aggressive, yet also, like, sweet to the kid at the same time. Like, it was... It was weird seeing Jesse like that. Like, yeah, he's, like, yelling a lot and angry. But then we saw him with a kid. And he just... He cared a lot about it. And he felt bad. And it's like... <sighs> Jesse's great. Sometimes. He has his moments where sometimes he pisses me off. But that hasn't been lately. That's been Walt. Walt, I, I want to say at the beginning, was a little bit better. But then you go through the episode. And then I started getting mad again. Because it's like, like Gretchen was telling him, she's using them for like a part of this lie. And they're literally like apologizing to Gretchen and them's face. Or like, thanking them for like giving them money whenever they haven't been and then it's like they have two different perspectives of like what happened with gray matter and it's like i don't know which one's true because they both see it a different way but it's like he walt pissed me off again a good bit this episode and it's like now him and skylar like they seemed somewhat like at a good point by the end of the episode but also not it's like, how is he going to keep up with his lies? Because imagine one day she's at, like, Skylar's out doing something and then she runs into Gretchen somehow and then, like, they have, like, an awkward encounter. But then Gretchen actually, like, tells them what happens or, like, she sees that they're not broke anymore. And it's like, he's not, Walt's not going to know how to, like, fix that. Like, he was coming up with shit on the spot and it's like, yeah it's a temporary fix for the situation but it's like if they somehow run into each other again his like his idea shit is fucked but like it was it was so weird seeing jesse in this whole situation but it's like he had to get his money back and i thought he was straight up supposed to just like go kill him because that's kind of how like walt put it and maybe he was supposed to, but one of them ended up dead because, you know, he kept calling the other one a skank. If you stopped calling her a skank, you would have been alive, buddy. But all you had to, man, just kept going skank, skank, skank. Like, come on. He asked for it. She gave him the chance to stop. And what did he do? He kept going. And look at him now. I just, I don't think we're going to see the little kid again. Maybe, maybe not. I think it was just like for the episode, but hopefully that kid ends up okay. Because from a situation, I felt bad, just like how Jesse felt bad. It was just like kind of emotional. And it was good to see Jesse like with a kid and have a soft, like a soft side and everything like but I'm ready to see what Walt's gonna say about the whole thing because did actually did Jesse actually like take the money or did he just leave it? Cause like I he seemed to like take it out, but I didn't know if he just like left it on the floor or not. Cause it's like if he shows up to Walt again and he doesn't have the money, then we already know Walt's gonna go off again. But it's like he's not trying to kill a dude. He's not trying to kill people. And if you try and make Jesse a killer, then he is fucking crazy if he does, like, if he tries to do that. I swear. Season 1 Walt and Season 2 Walt right now are, like, different. So fucking different. And you know what? I'm surprised we didn't see Hank or... I forgot the sister's name. We didn't see Hank or the sister at all this episode. And it's like, how is Hank doing? Because last episode, he had, you know, his shit. And I want to know if, like, throwing that, like, throwing Tuco's thing away in the, uh, 
wherever he did it. I want to know if that actually helped him. So hopefully he'll be in the next episode. I don't know. But yeah, I just want to figure out what's going to be happening next. So I guess come back for episode. Did we just watch five? Or six? I want to say it was episode five. I don't know. I guess come back for episode five or six. 